Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the time is over there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Tada! If you're just stumbling on my channel for the first time, please don't forget to smash the red subscribe button, like the video, comment, and share. Give this video a massive thumbs up. If you're a returning subscriber, you know I love you already. Kindly, kindly give this video a massive thumbs up, like the video, and please share the message. Okay, it's no news that Evangelist Mike Bamiloye's son, Joshua Mike Bamiloye, has been trending on social media. People have been dragging him up and down because of what he said, like he committed a crime, which he didn't. So I'm going to spill the whole tea here and tell you what's trending and why he's trending. For those of you who don't know him, he's the second son of Joshua Mike. Uh, Joshua Mike Bamlo is the second son of Evangelist Mike Bamlo, who is the famous movie producer, the Christian movie producer of Mount Zion Film Productions. He is happily blessed with his cute wife, Tolu Lokwe Mike Bamlo. And they are all doing good. Okay, so those who don't know what he did, yes, he poisoned his boss. You heard me right. He poisoned his boss to save his wife and kid. Yeah. Don't take me serious. That was from the movie Abattoir. So if you're not watching the movie, you are in a long time. Please kindly go and watch the movie. That's why I say don't take me serious. It is from a movie. Okay? Yes. This is his lovely father, Evangelist. Mike Bamley, for those who don't know him, they have this Christian movie. I just had to do an intro about who I am to talk about today so that you will know and you have an in-depth knowledge of the person. Okay. Oh, Okay, now there are so many things on social media that one does not even know where to turn to and where not to turn to. This is his lovely mother, Evangelist Mrs. Gloria Mike Bamley. You see them twinning, aren't they just cute? Aren't they just cute? Okay, guys, before I start blushing, as if I'm the one in the picture, let's get right into this video. He posted something on his Twitter handle concerning his own point of view, his own point of reason, his own perspective as to cartoons and trending movies and fictions and so on. So let's get into it. This is him talking. So I made a tweet on Marvel movies and I think it's time to expand on that because there's something we need to hammer home in the body of Christ. What exactly is it? The impact some of today's themes have on our generation and even more so on our future children. Now, this is the thread. Let me preface this by saying I watch Marvel films as well, so it isn't a topic to completely ban, dissociate, or cancel Hollywood films from our homes because you can bet some people won't ha read half of this thread but still come up to their silly conclusions just to cause chaos and trust me chaos happened <laughs> rather this is a plea for us to be more deliberate in how much of god we pour into ourselves and subsequently into the lives of our children so their thought process isn't shaped by these movies i'll go over a few of the characters who sparked that concern it is a major concern. Please, parents, take note. I remember watching a um, cartoon in the sitting room with my son and I heard they went out to, I think, grab a lunch at a cafe and the girl was telling the guy, you're not even romantic. I was like, what the heck? Romantic in a cartoon, Disney Channel. That's what my son should learn from this age. May God help us all. Let's continue. Rather, this is a plea. Okay, say so for us to be more deliberate. Scarlet Witch, a superhero, was my first source of concern. I am not going into details. I'm just pointing out who our children will prefer, who our children will refer to as superheroes. Characters they would want to copy. Doctor Strange in the same boat, who is a sorcerer, same thing. A lot, a lot is happening. I remember watching Legend of the Seeker without my parents knowing I was in the university then. Um, so many of them, Merlin, Flash, you know, they were all having magical powers that one would even tend to, I wish I have this power. I wish I have this power. I remember Legend of Seeker where we have Mother Confessor. Yes, some people after watching say, confess me, oh, Mother Confessor. Zodiko Zeus around that. Use your magical powers and just, you know, things like that. May God help us. 
Over the years, foreign, mo foreign films have beautified witchcraft and sorcery. We may know that witchcraft is a no-no, regardless of how many movies see about it. But believe me, it is harmful for a child to grow up with the kind of orientation without a proper knowledge of God's word. The message is consistently the same. There are good witches and evil witches. That's how they paint it to be. Netflix Kids is also known for these types of shows. That's by the way. Let's go back to Marvel. Another example of Venom, another example is Venom rather, which was released in 2018, followed by a sequel in 2021. The plot revolves around a man whose body was fused with that of a symbiotic alien, a funny euphemism for demon, in my opinion, named Venom. I, I really don't know what our society is actually turning into. Witchcraft, sorcery, now infused into movies. People read through this and they were like, it's just movie, it's just a movie for crying out loud, it's just fiction. Okay, just a movie. <laughs> I pray God lets it just end at just a movie. Because nothing is just just. Remember the Bible says, a little living, living at the whole lump. Let's not take things for granted. May God help us all. Let's continue. This year, Mobius was released. I haven't seen it, but from research, it's the story of a doctor with a blood disorder who sought help from a means that turns him into a vampire, a blood-sucking demon. That's the hero. He's possessed by and manifests another being inside of him. And finally, the presently trending series Moon Nights, a regular guy shares a body with a mercenary that possesses Egyptian powers and he acts, acts for control over his body from time to time. He, like Venom and Mobius, is possessed by and manifests another being inside of him. All these in movies for children to watch. That's so sad. Let's continue. These are just few instances. Let's not even get into Disney. Let's not even get started on Disney's ambitions to fully integrate LGBT themes into their children's material, which will no longer be a coded affair. Side note, Disney owns Marvel. Wow. Again, I'm not advocating for a ban on Hollywood films or a boycott of Marvel films, though if you can, good for you. I'm requesting that we become more sensitive and vigilant than we have ever been. The world is getting darker and the devil is becoming increasingly crafty. The devil is becoming increasingly crafty. Let's not forget that. Who would have thought witchcraft and sorcery would get and find its way into cartoons which are little children watch? So from little, the devil is trying to catch them young, but he has failed. Make a firm commitment in your heart to nourish your heart with God's word as much as possible so that you can pass it on to your children and younger siblings. This will function as a powerful deterrent to the negative content that's out there. We can't completely prevent germs in the air, water, or food, but we can strengthen our immune system to combat them when they get into the body. In the spirit, it is the same way. Spiritual germs are present in the media, but your spiritual immunity is the most important factor. Now, it brings us to the question, how is your spiritual immunity? Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. I pray God helps us to get this understanding, not just to criticize, but derive understanding from this and may it make, make impact in our life's generation and down to the younger generation. A lot is happening in the movie industry, entertainment industry. The truth is that it's difficult to stop your child from watching cartoon because they learn other things from it. But may God help us to filter them. Now, here are some responses after reading this. Some people said, one said, I am intentional. I am an intentional parent. I cannot come and disappoint God. God help us all. It is well. God bless you. This got to me. 
I am an intentional parent. Somebody could make boasts of this. Now down to myself to ask the question, am I an intentional parent? Are you an intentional parent? May God help us all. Another said, period. The backlash just shows that comprehension is a big deal for a lot of people. Yes, most people see things and understand things differently. Another said, thanks for this. It's an eye opener. These shows have a way of painting that it is not that deep. Feeling is just a show. It's just a cartoon. It's just a movie, just a fiction. But Satan keeps trying to make himself relevant in every field of entertainment, commerce, even in churches. It is it as well. Now, this is what evangelist Mike Bamlui's son came out to say that everybody's giving so much backlash here and there. What he said, is it actually wrong to me? It isn't. It's a wake up call for us to arise to our task i pray god will help us and see us through we've come to the end of this video for today please hope you were blessed don't forget don't hold this kindly share for others to benefit and also learn don't forget smash the red subscribe button like the video comment and share god bless us real good have a splendid and a lovely day if there's anything you can get out of this movie even if you didn't get anything just get the fact that the devil is not stopping from getting his job done and also pick that, be intentional in your parenting. God bless you.